Well, hey there, Brewberries. What's up? And welcome to another episode of Wigmund. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are right back where we last left off. We have our two handed great sword and we have survival skill now, which I'm kind of curious what in the world. Oh, so if I interact with that, that gives me stuff. What did that give me? A journal page or no tablet of true sight right click to use don't know exactly what that was all right well regardless what i want to do is there was apparently a shovel handle that we had here maybe this the archaeology shovel can be used on any noticeable mound of earth did i actually get it oh i did okay um, can I set this to anything? Let's see. Sort actions. Oh, action bar one, two, three, four. Let's maybe do four. One, two, no, five. Yeah. So that's the up. Aha. I could not find anything. Okay. We got a journal entry. Let's see. What did that say? Farewell, Ephestra. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the archaeologist. Okay, shovel handle. Okay, we, so we finished that. Okay, cool. Now let's go find the two places that we found. Jeez, those birds are so freaking loud. Okay, one, I believe. Was it over here? Let me get to the map. One was this direction. Yes, this direction. They need, I need a lantern, man. Did we pass it? Okay, we did. It's right around here somewhere. Yes, right here, right here, right here. All right, so if we come up here and we use the thingy right here, let's diggy diggy. Ah, what did we get? This is where, knowing what I would get, it would be very nice. Oh, we should fish, too. What? Okay, I can't see, I can't see uh, what this is. All right, let's... Well, firstly, I guess let's check out what in the world this is. Stone weapon. I require a higher level. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Raw chicken. Did I just take... When I interacted with those chickens... Oh, that gives four armor on the ring? Okay. Did I, when I interacted with those chickens, did, oh my gosh, did you see me bouncing on the top of the cliffs? Oh my goodness. Uh, I think interacting with those, those chickens gave me, let's uh, do this, uh, gave me a little bit of raw chicken. I'm not sure how. All right. I dig it. Uh, I dig it. I hope there's a store somewhere. Um, Where was the other trying to remember where the other digging spot was i'm just gonna let me search around and then i'll i'll bring you back in whenever i actually find one. Oh, i haven't found a place to dig but i did find the anvil finally and we can craft some iron bars and that leveled our crafting now to four that's cool Let's uh, keep making more. Level to six. I wonder what level. Okay, 30 is the max level. Okay, what does tanned leather do? All right, I don't know what exactly that does, but that's cool. Good to know. Aha! Here's the other area to dig. All right, what did we get that time? Uh, maybe some ju just some different stuff. Iron scraps, maybe? Why do I have barrels of light beer? <laughs> All right, I think the next thing that we do is we just are going to this uh, meet Raiden and his and his fellows in Cl Cluid, a small hamlet hidden to the wild. Cluid settlement is 
going to be reached. That is the last thing that we necessarily need to do. I think we can come back here. I don't think it's necessarily we can't come back here. So I so this is saying we need to go this direction. I believe. Right? Which way are we going? Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to be leaving the valley. Okay, we'll see where this goes. I don't really know. We'll see what happens. Chapter 2. The Hidden Hunter. Okay. What does this say? Doesn't say anything. Can't interact with it. Okie dokie. Let's keep going. Uh, there was a pathway. But I guess it's gone. Kind of wish I was traveling at night. Uh, wow. Okay, this is significantly bigger. Uh, okay, so we need to be going this direction. I guess. So we'll go... I'm confused. The point... The, ma the pointers are a little strange. Oh, okay. This is... Some stuff to mine. We got an abandoned house. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. You are a red spider. Come here, red spider. There we go. Red spider ain't got nothing on me. Let's do a little diggy diggy. Oh, we got three things. I don't know what that was that we just got. Uh, some, this something or other. What is this? Ancient armor piece. Can we... Uh, journal, you dinged. Does that mean something? He is legend. Ancient armor. Oh, collect all the missing pieces of the armor. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. Get out of here, spider. You don't... I don't fear you at all. Because you're... a dumb. That did a good amount of damage. Medicine level 7. Diarn. All right, I'm trying. I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out which way I'm supposed to be going. I think I'm supposed to be going this direction. It's kind of I, I I don't know why I'm struggling to use the map, but I am. <laughs> Whoa! What are you? Oh my gosh, you're a bee. That was terrifying. Okay, so I'm... I don't have bare hands. I have, uh, human hands. Hmm, okay. Oh, gosh! Get out of here. My gosh. Oh, so there's these bees. Uh, we've got a building here. Can we go inside? Oh, my! A dude! Salve, what are you doing here? As the name Hyph that I bear says, I shepherd these bees. Well, I'm sorry, I just killed two of them. That's something I really like. If you like bees and honey, maybe you can help me to catch some wild bees and put them in the empty hives to see if they can it to see if they can do good honey. What do you think? I like honey. If I can help you catch some swarms, will you give me some honey? This is an excellent proposition. For every five swarms of wild bees, I will give you two acacia honeycombs. That's the best honey you can get. Oh, I like so much of the acacia honey. Oh, I like so much the acacia honey. I am at your service. Hyph, my name is Wigman. Please show me how to catch bees. Wigman, the Lion of Templar, I will give you the honey right now without having to give me anything back. I really want to catch those bees, though. And uh, by the way, I don't know who the Lions of Templar are. Anyway, don't spoil me. I am ready to help you. 
It's not very difficult. Get this net and when you are near a swarm of wild bees, put it under it. Then slowly shake the branch they are hanging on. When the swarm is inside your net, go and put in any of those empty hives waiting for their guests. Perfect. When I catch five swarms, you will give me a jar of acacia honey. Deal. Okay, we'll do that later. Uh, I want to kind of just continue with the main story right now. I think maybe Cluid is... Or this is a... There's a town right here, but it's kind of... The bridge is gone. Oh, gosh. Uh, can we get up the side? Oh, okay. Just because the bridge is gone doesn't mean anything. Is... Oh, hello. All right, don't talk to me. Quite the hay you've got. Excuse me. Excuse me. Eeg. Oh, can I talk to you, Eeg? A real knight needs real fights, not just training and simulated fights. If you want some real fights, I, E, can propose you something difficult. Very well, Eeg. That's what I'm asking for. What do you have for me? Something shiny. A treasure? I like treasures. In a certain sense, yes, it is a treasure, but a very different one. A golden apple. An apple. Yes, apple. As I said, not a usual apple. A golden one. You are as serious as a Roman general, so it can't be a joke. And yet I, can, and yet I find it hard to believe. What do you mean by a golden apple? An old legend says that somewhere in those small mountains near the Needle Pass is a tree. And indeed, there is a unique tree named by our ancestors, Milskapuldor. But what is strange is that the legend says the tree makes one golden apple every night before the sunrise. But that golden apple can only be picked within the space of a few minutes. The problem is not only that some dragons come and steal it, but that an irresistible sleep envelops everyone who is waiting there. So whoever wants to do, wants to do this must first defy sleep then defeat dragons fast enough to have some time to pick the golden apple. If this legend is true, it is definitely the right job for me. But how do I defy sleep? What I know is not that even the legendary Sumerian hero Gilgamesh was able to defy sleep. When he tried, he fell asleep for seven days in a row. I know that legend from Ephestra, but I do not want to gain immortality as Gilgamesh. Everything I want is to be awake while awaiting the sunrise near the tree named Milskapator. There's another old story, the young brother and the golden apples, where a hero did what you want to do to defy sleep. He used a spike placed under his chin. Maybe you can use something like a necklace with spikes to remain awake. I thought about this solution many times in my youth, but now I'm too old to see if it works or not. I will talk with Wirthra, the jeweler, to see if he can design such a necklace. Solve. Okay. My gosh, look at those kegs. What in the world? And what are you? Why is this bell missing? Maybe the mayor can answer the question. That well, seems like a fair thing to ask. Oh, what is this big chest icon? What are you? Wigman's stash. Oh, that's pretty good because, wow, was I getting full. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Store. Wait, am I going to have to actually go through and hit store on all of these? Wow. All right, maybe we store these instead. Yeah, I'm going to just store the scroll things and not deal with uh, trying to store everything else because my goodness, this would take pretty long to do. There's no like hotkey for it or anything. Seems a little sus. Oh, I didn't even realize we got this. I can wear that. It weighs me down a bit. But that's fine. Okay, who are you? Mayor. Salve, Mayor. I've noticed that the place of the bell is empty. Indeed, Wigman. Believe it or not, the bell has been stolen by a giant eagle. That, not a, at all what I thought it was going to say. We never understood why a bald eagle flew over us whenever the bell rang. Actually, it seems like they like that crystalline sound. So the eagle stole the bell. Yep, that's the truth. I saw it at dawn this morning almost a year ago. How one of the eldest flew with it. Who, but who can climb to their nests? I'll do it. Can you tell me where their nest is? 
The giant eagles live on the eastern mountains near the pass. If you don't find a path, do not try to climb there. You will fall. Don't worry. I'll be very cautious. Good luck. Okay. I was not at all expecting... Oh, hey, we can uh, do a little medicinal crafting here, I believe. Can we? Oh, we're in survival. Let's do this. Can we craft that? And did we do that? Hooray, we did it. Rejuvenation potion. Nice. We are slowly but surely leveling up our stuff. Oh, smithy. Big at Oh my. Whoa. That's a big hammer. Hey, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Who are you? Oh, you sell me things. Is this just a regular sword? A squire sword. One-handed. We got a tower shield. Some apples. Nice big pauldrons. Reinforced knee guards. So for six gold. How much money do we have? We have 95. So let's go through and sell what we can. All right. Well, we're broke. But we got a full new set of armor. So we're going to throw these all on. And the arm guards are right there. Gorgeous. We need one more arm guard, but that's fine. Our weight is probably significantly heavier. Oh, we also have knee pads. Nice. So two armor, two armor, 0.5 weight. 0.2 weight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the... Armors, all of this is just better. And we look a little bit more official now. Look at us. Look at them pauldrons. My goodness. Wait, so this is Cluid. I'm so confused. Where? So wait, where are we meeting? What's his face? Journal, what do you say? Meet Raiden and his fellows in Cluid, a small hamlet hidden into the wild. Cluid so settlement has been reached. I, I've reached it. I'm a little confused. Okay, well, I know I'm supposed to be in Cluid, so let's maybe search around, try to find where we're supposed to be going. Are you who I'm supposed to be talking to? Raiden, have you been here the whole time and I'm just blind? Probably. Wigman, finally! I know, I got lost. I was a little confused as to what I was supposed to do, but I'm here now. I promised to come to Cluid. I did. It just took me forever. <laughs> And you have kept your word. Unfortunately, these are dark times. What you've noticed in your place is much more palpable here. Like? Like the invasion of those evil beasts. I know you would prefer that all these attacks of enemies be but a mere coincidence. No, Wigman, they are not accidents. I'm not happy to agree, but the evidence seems to confirm that. You still don't fully understand the amplitude of the events, so I will describe the current situation in short to make everything crystal clear. All these are parts, or episodes if you wish, of the final assault of the evil king, Antiochus. He wants to destroy any human being who does not accept his will and deeds. What connection can be between the tyrant and these beasts? Antiochus has a lot of acolytes. Some of them are capable to control these ferocious beasts. What happened in the Lonely Valley is happening here too. A gigantic bear has attacked our hives. They usually took some honey and left, but this one destroyed more than half from all our hives. It's as if a sort of chaotic, destructive instinct has been awakened in that bear, as in other beasts too. After being initially marked by concern regarding what Raiden was telling him, now Wigman figured, L Wigman's figure looks unexpectedly calm. I am ready. That's certain. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. The cave, named Furden, is near the southwestern forest. It is fairly deep. It is a fairly deep cavern. There is an old and extremely dangerous bear living in it. It is not very agile, but a single blow from him can be fatal. Most likely, there are many other beasts there, and probably some valuable items stolen by them. By the way, if you need any supplies, you can visit Ope, our merchant. If you need any storage, use the stash in the Great Hall in case you need not. And in case you did not already. My days of peace are gone, that is certain. Anyway, you still owe me an explanation. I know. Be sure that you will find out everything in due course. After looking at him intensely, straight in his eyes, Wigman left without adding anything else. Without realizing it, he had already begun to follow the thin line that is his unique destiny began, began to draw. That his unique destiny began to draw. Deep in thought, Raiden murmured almost inaudibly, but very clear as if to himself, the Lions of Templar, but there was no one that could hear him. 
Alrighty, so we have to kill the bear. And the bear is in the in a cave. And I wanna say he said in the southwest. So we explored a fair amount over there when I was lost. So uh I guess we follow the golden thingy. Or I guess maybe it said Northwest, because that's where it seems like this is taking me. It seems like it's up in the Northwest portion, so we'll go and we'll try to kill this bear, and who knows, maybe we'll be able to do it. Maybe we won't. Hi! What? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hit. That's an eagle! Oh my gosh, do we get attacked by it? Oh my gosh, that did tons of damage. Oh, but you, you absolutely got wrecked i am so confused it's so difficult to follow the darn compass like i just genuinely like why now now what's it doing <laughs> it was pointing me in the opposite i was literally following it that entire time and then now it's pointing this direction i'm just so confused well there's this thingy because like look i'm facing the other direction but now i'm pointed in the exact I'm so baffled. Okay, so if we go up here, there seems to be, like, potentially some interesting thing over this way. Oh, wait, is this it? What is this? Is this it? Is this where we're supposed to be going? Get a little bit of this action going. I don't see any baddies. There's an invisible chest here. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Didn't that thingy uh, that we got with the four runes show that it's like shows invisible things? Oh my gosh, we did it. Yeah, there's not really anything here. Grace potion. I don't know what grace is. All right, we'll just take it off. Okay. Okay. So that bell was supposedly missing, but was it actually missing is my question. Because it had like that blue outline similar to that. Okay, this is just like a big old hole. Is that it? All right, I guess we're going to run towards this marker again. I swear it said in the southwest. So maybe I should just more trust my gut and uh, not trust the compass because apparently I don't know how to use it. Okay. That's so much better. It was locked on the north and it was just confusing me. So now you can see we're headed south because we're already so freaking west. We are headed south, and it's uh, this is this is better. If you're if you're trying this game out and you're playing it, don't keep the map locked. Take that! You didn't even touch me, you fool! Don't uh, keep the map locked. Whoa! Oh, that's a fire! I was like, what the frick is that? I understand now. Uh, anything here? No. Okay, the moon's gonna probably blind me again, right? Yeah, it's over there. We'll, we'll not, we'll not take it, do that, uh, keep it in my eyeballs and all that. Oh, it's so much easier to use the darn map like this. Wow, I don't know why that north lock was so, come here, I want experience. Hiya, hiya, death to you. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, there's a bear. All right, we're gonna save. <laughs> I've never fought a bear. I don't know how difficult it is. Come here, you. Oh my. Oh no, I didn't do nearly as much as I thought. What the? 
That did not do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. That was quite the loud moan you had there, bear. Like, I know you died and all that, but... Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Wait, I can't eat during combat? Oh. Jeez, get off of me. Okay, we need... I need to set this to, I think, maybe action bar three. So I can use the button and then let's see it. This is two health per second. This is 0.8 health per second. Yeah, maybe we need to learn how to cook. I've not figured out how to cook. I think we need maybe a campfire. Oh God, oh God, oh God, don't touch me. Jiminy Christmas. I'm just trying to survive here, man. Let me eat my food. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Don't touch me. Take that. Goodness gracious. Why? Don't. Don't. Why are you resetting? Uh. All right, we're 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 going to beat the crap out of these dudes. Come here, you. Take that. All right, bear, where are you at? I know you're around here somewhere. There you are. Jeez, get out of here. Dude, these bears just respawn. It's so obnoxious, and I can't see a daggum thing. Oh, okay, so the, the cave entrance is right here. So there's a bear right there. Medicine of 20 for that? My gosh. I'm kind of curious what this is like. Take this! All right, that... <laughs> okay, that seems kind of stupid. Uh, that may be the move for defeating these darn bears. Let's make this the LT for now. And see if we can uh, slap these bears around a little bit. Uh, let's see. What does the map look like here? Seems like a pretty big, pretty big cave. Oh my gosh, I did not see it. Oh my, I, I hit it. Ow. So we get stunned. Uh, I don't know how to feel. Like, it feels cheesy. <laughs> it, it just doesn't feel like I. it should. I feel like uh, it, it's too impactful. Get off of me. 
I genuinely, I don't know why the bow is actually like staggering them. I feel like they shouldn't get super staggered like this. Hey, we leveled up though. That's cool. Um, I kind of want to try, I may keep dealing with these guys with the bow, but it seems a little cheesy, so I'm going to probably switch back to the two-hander. Just because it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel that good. And then let's maybe level up a little bit. What the frick is that? Bro, I don't even know, man. All right, do we want to do strength? Constitution increases our health by two and carrying capacity by eight. How much health do we have? We have 52. And so that actually is like one hit, I think from like a standard wolf or half a hit or something. Faith, free natural damage by grace, which will help our sword. Dexterity is crit chance. Stamina is our dodging. Agility increases attack and mitigation speed. And then unused is obviously the points that we have unused. I think maybe what we do, we're already hitting for a fair amount. So maybe we do constitution. Man, let's do faith. Might as well. All right, let's go to our profession skills. And we can increase our damage again by one. Oh, wait, next rank increases it by two. What are these? Two-handed weapon master increases damage dealt with two-handed weapons by two. 100% activation chance. Applies a 10% speed bonus after dealing a critical strike. Battle trance. Has a chance to refresh cooldown on melee abilities okay so i don't necessarily use the melee ability all the time five percent chance to ignore the opponent's armor has five percent chance to apply a bleed all right let's check out the exorcist stuff increase the exorcism exorcism's damage by ten percent will something will something will sometime heal for five when receiving damage will restore 10 grace when dealing damage I just don't know what grace is. Increases faith by one. Let's do this and see. I don't, I just don't know what faith is. Let's, let's check. Maybe we can check and see. Cause we can always respec. They're 20, it's like 25 sets. Each point increases pre, 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 I don't know how to say that word, man. Damage by one grace, one grace by five. Predatural damage by one grace by five and grace regeneration. So, does this use grace when I activate it? Oh, you gain speed with War Blessing. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know what those things are. They look a little scary. So, maybe we don't go down there. What in the... What are they? Like, that's kind of... They're kind of crazy looking. Is that a chest? Oh, whoa. We're definitely, we definitely do more damage. Because we, did we up strength and, we definitely, we upped strength and we upped our grace damage, so. Yeah, I think we did. I think we're doing a, lo a, a fair amount more damage. Oh, there's the bear. Okay, let's save. Okay, okay. Let's get some regen going on. Oh, we can't use our healing though. Well, we'll give it a go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't touch me. Ow! Oh my... Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do your big attack. Thank you. 
Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do your big attack. Oh! Do your big attack! Thank you. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't touch me. Do your big attack. Thank you. Ow! Oh, he did 10 damage. Ow! Oh, he missed me. Ow! Oh. Don't do your big attack! No, that did not touch me. Oh gosh. Oh, if we get hit one more time, I think we're dead. Oh! Let's do it again. Do your big attack. Big attack. There you go. No. Back. Be gone. Big attack. Yes. We did it. We did it. Goodness gracious. That was kind of terrifying. What is this? Uh, and then what is this? Is that a piece of armor? It kind of looked like a little piece of armor or something. Okay, so that bear's dead. Uh, let's see here. The dangerous job. Here we are. Return to Cluid. Okay. Cool. So we have to run our way out of here, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, that was a piece of armor, but it just is something I can actually straight up use. One agility, one armor. This is one agility, one armor. But this... Wait, hold on. Oh, this way's point... Eight. This way's point. Okay, hold on. I can't see it. Oh, it's got a set bonus. So if we actually find the rest of the Berserker stuff, we'll have a full set. Oh, that's cool. And it looks a little more pointy. Nice. And then we got a scroll of ground slam. Slams the ground, sending out shockwaves that damages all enemies around you. Ooh, how much does this use? Oh, that's cool. Bro, that's actually really cool. Oh, I need to uh, swap this back to action bar dos. That's actually super cool. Now I'm, I really want to see how much damage that actually will do. Oh, we should definitely drink a regeneration potion because we have quite lit. Oh, there's a bear. Okay, we're going to regen a bit and then we'll use ground slam to like slap it in the face. We got a teddy bear. I'm sure the owner of this toy is very sad right now. Yeah, that's true. Like, well, firstly, why is there a table in here? That was my question. All right, let's regen a little bit and let's get back on to the town. Oh my gosh, these are big bears. Nope, 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 nope. There's got to be something good in here if there's a big bear guarding it. But I don't have much health. Aha! I'm getting better at fighting. I'm getting better at being able to time things, that is. What in the world is this? Oh, is that a helmet? Nice. What was this helmet? Berserker's face guard. 20 armor. Oh, we get the set bonus. I bet. Oh, wait, we know we need all six for the set bonus. So this is 20 armor to weight. This is one stamina, 15 armor. OK, well, this one looks cooler. So uh, we're going to be doing that. Weird. There's like a banner here with a Durgan. There's a bear in here and just one. 
I got Grace going. Ow! Don't touch me. So what is this? Okay, so this is... Oh, more Berserker's Gloves. Okay. Nice. So these give... Our Berserker's Gloves give one Strength, one Dexterity, one Stamina, two Agility, three Armor. And these Gloves just give Strength and Armor. So this gives four Armor. This gives three Armor. So you get a little bit less Armor, but for a whole lot more. Now, I don't really know if I can actually continue in this primarily because I don't have anything else really, I don't think, to eat. So, um, yeah, we're probably going to die. Ooh. More berserkers. Shoulder guards. Nice. So two strength, one dexterity, one agility. Strength. Awesome. So the strength is starting to go up. What's our strength at now? Eight. So we're slowly but surely getting more and more damage as well. Man, I wish I would have... If I find any more mushrooms, then I'll be good. But I wish I would have made some more food. Whoa, those are undead things. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, we almost have a complete set. We need another shoulder pad. Right? Oh, wait, we got two knee guards? That seems... We got three knee guards. Odd. Okay, so we need... Uh... Something else. Ah, here it is. What is this? Another shoulder pad? Nice. Okay. We need one more to make the full set. Or, well, to, like, get the full eight, eight set bonus. Okay, we already did that, did that, did that. Let's maybe test our metal against the, uh, undead over here. See if our holy enchant does a good amount of damage to them. Uh, we can't even eat during, uh... All right, let's see here. Got quite the swords there, buds. You terrify me. I really don't want to get hit by you. Did it! What is this? Berserker's Gambeson, Berserker's Trousers, baby! Boom. A uh, boom. Full set of sweet, sweet Berserker's armor. Nice. Okay, so we... Do we have the entire thing? We need... Looks like we need a cape. Oh, we need boots. We haven't gotten boots yet. Well, now I feel fairly confident. What's our strength at now? 12? Yeah, I feel fairly confident that we can uh, tackle the rest of this cave. So, Brewberries, I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. We have some sick armor. I mean, look at it. It looks pretty dang cool. Let's get over here in the light. Yeah, look at that. Isn't it cool? Man, that's super cool. 
So uh, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Uh, we will be completing and turning in our quest next episode. This one is going a lot longer than I was initially planning, but then I got into having a lot of fun with finding the Berserker's armor. So we just went ahead with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Wiggerman. Uh, bye bye.